everybody. This is Carrie Duratz, uh, Office and Special Projects Manager at AE Events, coming to you with a Vendor Chronicle. Today, I'm speaking with um, my wonderful teammate here, Vanessa Holroyd, who is co-owner of Music Management. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Carrie. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. Great. So can you tell us just a little bit of a snapshot about Music Management and what you do? Sure. So Music Management is a full service entertainment agency. So I think of us as uh, we're kind of a matchmaking uh, service for entertainment. So we pair musicians, aerialists, themed bands, classical, world jazz, all kinds of entertainment with events. So we work with private clients, we work with couples getting married, we work with event planners, we work with venues, um, and we basically try to match uh, whatever entertainment is gonna be most appropriate for the space and for the event. So we serve as kind of a, a go-between handling all the logistics and uh, guiding clients through choosing uh, the best best music and also uh, vetting and developing talent and uh, researching and you know prepping artists for work in the hospitality and event industry. Wow, um, it's a lot. That's a lot. A lot. Not just, you don't just book bands. <laughs> we don't just book bands. <laughs> uh, how long have you been doing what you do? I have been doing this since 1998, which is when I moved to Boston after finishing a master's in flute performance in Montreal and was looking for a part-time job. And I sort of fell into this company and into this industry. And however many years later, I'm still here and I've loved it. And it's evolved over time from me being uh, just sort of a part-time office coordinator to now uh, you know, really loving and kind of falling in love with this whole commercial side of, of music. Um, so do you still play? I do. I still play really regularly. Uh, I sort of developed a freelance career that's focused on chamber music. So I have a couple of uh, chamber ensembles that I play with and I freelance with a bunch of different local orchestras, uh, mainly uh, a regular performer with Emmanuel Music in Boston and also subbing with, you know, I mean, we're so lucky to be in this area because there's, I mean, besides the Boston Symphony, there are just countless, countless opportunities to make really, really high level music, professional music making. So there's mostly so, classical. classical yeah, music. there's so much music, which is great. Um, yeah. And that's one of the reasons I personally love working with you is that I can trust you completely. Uh -huh. Because I know you know what you're talking about. You're not just someone who likes music. You, you know, are extremely educated and play music all the time. Well, it goes both ways. One of the reasons I love working with you, especially, and with all of your team, is I think you really are unique within Boston in your knowledge of music and understanding of how musicians uh, or how any entertainment professional um, what they need and how they work and what's, you know, we're always trying to marry the reality with a creative vision and, you know, so many things are possible. And I think between the two of us, we've made a lot of amazing things possible, but it's always trying to follow that, you know, walk that line. And, and I've always felt that you've been so sensitive and um, respectful of, of artists. That's the fun part for me. In, in large part is making it it's a whole it's not just a party it's a whole concept and that you know can the entertainment can really be the starring part of that and you and I have a crazy plan that we've put together <laughs> that someday we will actually get to do and I can't say it here but no but I'm I'm <laughs> on it I'm with you totally with you it's gonna happen <laughs> when people least expect it. it's coming <laughs> okay. um how does your clientele break down by market segment? I know you do a little bit of everything. Do you do more, more social, more weddings? Do you do more corporate stuff? 
Um, I think it's a, it's a pretty fair balance between social and corporate. I would say uh, maybe more social because it's not just weddings, but private parties, mm -hmm. birthday parties, rehearsal dinners, graduation parties, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So if we take the aggregate of all the social stuff, it probably is a little bit more than corporate, but the corporate stuff we do is usually on a larger scale. So, uh, you know, it kind of balances out because a corporate event might have, you know, five or six different components to it. Um, whereas a social, you know, it might just be a one-off. I mean, everything from a solo pianist or solo guitarist to, you know, a huge band, including ceremony, you know, reception, yeah. rehearsal, dinner, everything. So I, if I broke it down just by uh, client type, probably a little bit more social, but it's, it's everything with it, with some public stuff in there. I mean, we've definitely over the years and, and continue to do, um, you know, some public events like music for Boston Wine Festival and, you know, First Fridays at the MFA and, you know, other things that are a little bit more concert series, um, you know, public regular music series aimed. Great. Um, what's your favorite part of an event? Mm. Take a pick. Social, corporate, nonprofit. What's your favorite bit? Um, that's a really good question. I, I think because I've always had a love of theater and, um, you know, obviously haven't done theater professionally, but like all through school, I love like that kind of opening night when like you've done all the logistics, you've made everything happen and you're nervous because you're hoping everything is happening, but like right when things start and and hopefully it's all going well, but it's like once things happen, it's like when the curtain comes up and things are starting, that to me is like, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, you feel like you've somehow birthed this like incredible thing with the help of many people. And then from a purely like dorky, nerdy side of things, I have a very, and my colleagues that I do wedding ceremonies with will attest to this. I have a really probably irrational pleasure that comes from when a wedding processional is timed perfectly because you can't always predict when the music is going to cadence and you know we always make it fine and we always make it graceful and we always make it work out but when it just happens that the music like comes to the perfect cadence conclusion and everything finishes and it's like this beautiful release and it's like then they start it I after all these years that still gives me like a ridiculous rush which is yep yeah so, the goosebumps of when it just all the timing works out perfectly it's and it's like exactly it's okay. it's so great and it's not because we always have like catch you know we always we can always end things gracefully and we can always like come to a cadence but when it like when it really works out or like you know when the bride comes in and there happens to be a natural swell which you could never coordinate if you tried but you know when it just happens i think i'm just I don't know, it's cheesy and romantic, but I, I, I really, I love like it. it. <laughs> That's great. Um, what do you think some of the benefits to a client um, are when working with an event planner? With working with without. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, of course. I, this is something that I've actually thought a lot about because, I mean, I got married a long time ago and did not know any of, you know, did not know you, did not know any of the incredible people and did not understand what that industry like what you do and really wish I had back at that time because it would have helped a lot of things I think um the thing I like about it is that you have somebody that is representing both sides of the table that has a creative vision and can help guide a client towards what's going to help them realize that because I think it's impossible for any one person to have knowledge of all these different um, disciplines, all these different you know things, as well as having the organization to keep someone on a timeline. You know, I feel like it can be so overwhelming because you don't know what to book when. Whereas an event planner will be like, you know what, you need to start with you know your venue and you know things that book up and that can only accommodate one event on one day. Like that kind of knowledge is so important and from the vendor's perspective to have somebody that I can speak to about you know not only just what the right music is but also just the logistics and the details like it's so beneficial it's so helpful for us I mean when especially when an event planner is respectful and understands both sides you know um not to be disparaging but it's it's obviously like you know the the, the best event planners 
of which, you know, I can include you, really understand what goes into the vendor um, contribution to an event and the client's role in the event and are able to navigate able yes. to navigate that does that yeah no that that's great I mean it's, it for us it's all about sort of making the right match right um and right. that's what you do so well too is you're about making the right match and then we all you know work together to to make the schedule work because that that is tricky yeah uh, getting you know giving everyone enough time to do what they need to do on site is something that sort of is a bit of a mystery mm -hmm. to people that aren't in the industry so and that's one of the things that we love about working with you guys is that we're really able to create that symbiosis and we, we almost have a shorthand now, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, which is great, which is really great. Um, have you ever <laughs> found yourself doing the old Joan Rivers, what are you wearing with guests? I, I was trying to like figure out how to answer it. Like, I, I'm not sure this is really, I mean, obviously no Joan Rivers and I know that whole thing, but I, I don't understand. Like, do you mean like, as far as like, what are you, who are you wearing? I, or do you just find yourself mentally critiquing? Oh, you mean like, oh, like literally what are they wearing? Like at the, oh, totally. Like, isn't that awful? I mean, that's part of the fun, right? Isn't it? No, I don't know it if I can little. say that. Yeah. It is, but, but like in the best way, like, especially because, you know, a lot of times when I'm on site, it's for a wedding and it's for, you know, these are very formal, beautiful weddings. And I love see, it is like a red carpet because you mm -hmm. can see all of these amazing dresses. And, you know, I do find myself doing that. I find myself like redoing my own wedding, like over and over again, kind of being like, Ooh, like maybe we do that. Or maybe, you know, that, I don't know. I do. I, I, now I do that. <laughs> I find it fascinating, but like, I, I don't want to make it seem like people are up there judging. It's more just like, uh -oh. in, no, in and mostly it's like, Ooh, I love what she's wearing. I wish I could wear that. <laughs> like nine times out of 10. Exactly. I was like, that would not, that would not work. So, <laughs> so one last question for you. Um, what's the one thing that you're really looking forward to um, being able to do hopefully shortly? you haven't been able to do lately? I think the most, the thing I am looking forward to most is playing, well, as a performer is playing with other people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I miss playing with my colleagues. I miss playing for audiences. Um, making music in real time next to people has a certain energy that just can't be recreated anywhere else. And from a, from a music management perspective, I miss being able to provide work for musicians. I mean, I, I miss being able to be at events and know that, you know, something can happen to be able to be on site. I, I miss that process. You know, yeah. I just, I'm really looking forward to being able to call up a band and be like, I have a booking for you. You know, it's, it's on this date or whatever. It's, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm Deliver that good news that. And, and, and have them enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. Well, thanks so much. Vanessa for joining us. Um, Thank you for asking. Yeah, and we'll talk to you soon and we'll hopefully see you soon. I hope so. I hope so and good luck with everything. You're, yeah, we'll yeah. all come through this one way or another. We sure will. Thanks. <laughs>